when Jesus touches your coffin. And Jesus said, do not weep. Then he came and he touched the coffin and those who carried him stood still. And he said, young man, I say to you, arise. So he who was dead sat up and began to speak and he presented him to his mother and they're going to the funeral ground to bury him. And then coming from the opposite direction on the same road is Jesus. They're singing praise songs. I think that somebody was singing, I was blind, but now I see. I think somebody was singing, I was lame, but now I can leap. And so here you got this happy, joyful praise party going on, and you got sad, 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 and the two collide. And I just love what Jesus did when, when they collided. Jesus turned to the mother who was mourning and said, weep not over your child. And then Jesus walked over and he did something strange. He did not touch the dead boy. And when he touched it, the boy sat up and began to speak. The men would come in and you couldn't just run down to Walmart or somewhere to the mall and get clothes. Clothes were very valuable and male clothes were, were needed always. So if they knew that a male, the last male had died in that home, the men from the community would go in and take his clothes. And Jesus said, come out of there. And he, and, and, and he comes out. What do you think he said? You don't, know, you don't know what I think he said? I think he said, I think from that elevated position on the shoulders of those people, he looks out and he sees his coat. He sees his shoes. He sees his hat. And he says, hey, you, give me my coat back. Hey, you, give me my hat back. Hey, you, that's not your shoes. That's my shoes. Give them back. When Jesus touches your coffin, you can tell the devil to give me back my joy. Give me back my health. Give me back my dream. Give me back my expectation. Give me back my faith and my victory. When Jesus touches your coffin, the coffin cannot hold you. He didn't touch the person. He touched the thing that held them down, that put a lid on them. He said, I am breaking the power of the box off of your life. There is no lid. There is no limit. There is no stopping you from going where I've called you to go and doing what I've called you to do. Somebody give the Lord a praise right now if you believe.